Hey kids, welcome to Kids Church. I'm so glad you could be here today. Before we jump into our lesson this week, I have a question for you. What does it look like to hold a grudge? Right, maybe you've been mean to them or you want to get back at them. And why do we like to hold grudges? Yeah, sometimes it feels good to stay angry at someone. And choosing to forgive seems like no fun. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn an important story about grudges and forgiveness. Jesus tells a story about a king and a crazy thing he did for a servant. That's a lesson for us all. But before we get into that, let's stand and sing a song together. Great job, now let's sing our big idea together. Make it a habit to be forgiving. Let's get ready for our lesson. Hey kids, what do you do when somebody hurts your feelings? Do you scream and stomp your feet? Or do you try to hurt them back? Or maybe you just forgive them? Well in today's lesson, we're gonna learn a story that's just about that. Jesus told a story about a guy who owed a lot of money. One day, the king decided that he was going to collect all the money that his servants owed him. So he called in one guy who owed millions of dollars and demanded that he paid all of the money back. The servant didn't have any money to get to the king. And at first, that made the king pretty mad. He told the servant he was going to sell him and his whole family to make up the money he owed. The servant begged and begged and got more than he expected. When the king said he was going to sell his family, he fell on his knees and begged for more time to pay his money. The king felt bad for him, so he did something really unexpected. He told the man he didn't have to pay him back at all, that his debt was forgiven. But then the servant won't forgive even a small debt. Right when the servant left the king, he went out and found a guy that owed him money and demanded that the guy paid him immediately. The man fell to his knees and begged for more time to pay his debt, but the servant wouldn't give it to him. He had him arrested and put in prison till he could pay him back. Some people saw this happen and rushed to tell the king about it, and it made him so angry. 
So the king called the servant and had him thrown in prison until he could pay back the millions of dollars he owed. All because he did forgive someone else. So kids, what can we learn from this? We should make a habit of forgiving, because we've been forgiven. The king forgave a big debt, but Jesus forgave an even bigger debt. It's to dub all the bad things that we do that get in the way of our relationship with God. And because Jesus forgave us, we should forgive others. Memory verse. Forgive not seven times, but seventy times seven. So kids, next time Sonny hurts your feelings, don't be like that silly servant that won't forgive. Remember what Jesus did for you, and always be willing to forgive others. So what did we learn from the video today? Let's review. What did the king decide to do? Collect all of his debts. And what did the servant do once he was forgiven a huge debt? He demanded a small debt from someone else. True or false, we should forgive because Jesus forgives us. True. Jesus didn't tell this story because he cared about money. He told the story to teach a lesson about forgiveness. See, the king wasn't a bad guy for wanting his money back. He loaned the money and people were supposed to pay him back. The key part of the story is how one of his servants responded to the king. The king chose to forgive a huge debt, but he felt bad for his servant. The king knew the debt was too big and the servant would spend several years trying to pay it off. But the servant missed the point. Instead of jumping for joy that his debt was forgiven, he went out and found a friend that owed him a small amount of money and demanded his money. He missed the whole point. Because he had been forgiven, he should have been forgiving. That reminds me of our memory verse. Let's all say it together. Forgive not seven times, but 77 times. Matthew 18:22. This is Jesus talking, and he said we should forgive all the time, not just some of the time. You know why? Because Jesus has forgiven us the biggest debt ever. We have the debt of sin that breaks our relationship with God, and only Jesus forgave that debt by dying on the cross for us. So when we understand how much we've been forgiven, we will want to be forgiving to the people in our lives. So kids, learn from this story, and don't be like the unforgiving servant. Let's make it a habit to be forgiving because Jesus has forgiven us of so much more. Let's pray. God, we are so grateful that you did give us Jesus, that he took a debt that we could have never repaid and that he gave his life so that we could have a relationship with you. I pray we'll never take that for granted and that we will always be forgiving with those around us. I thank you and I pray all this in Jesus' name, amen. Now let's all stand and sing another song together.
about forgiveness and the unmerciful servant. Every year, there were debts to be paid. Many citizens owed the king money, and today was the day he required payment. The king called in his first servant, a servant who owed him 10,000 bags of gold. You owe me a great sum of money, the king said, and today I demand that you pay every last coin. The servant had indeed borrowed a great deal of money from the king, but he knew it was impossible to repay what he owed. We barely have what we have to get by, he said fearfully as he glanced back at his family. I have no way to repay you, your majesty. The king was very unhappy. He motioned to his guard. Since he is unable to pay, I command that he, his wife, and his children be sold off as slaves and sell all of his possessions too. With that, the servant fell to his knees and begged the king, please be patient with me and I will find some way to pay you back. This act of extreme desperation and humility moved the king to compassion. His expression quickly turned from anger to mercy as he declared, I forgive you every last coin you owe me. The king promptly canceled the servant's debt and commanded that the entire family be set free. In light of this great act of mercy, you would think that this servant would himself deal mercifully with others. However, when he remembered that his fellow servant owed him a very small amount of money, he showed no pity at all. Instead, the shameless servant hunted down the man in order to force him to pay his debt. When he saw his fellow servant, he grabbed him by the throat, saying, pay me back the money you owe me. The servant dropped to his knees and begged him, please be patient with me and I will find some way to pay you back. But the ungrateful servant refused to show mercy and had the man thrown into prison until he could come up with the money he owed. When the other servants saw how he treated the man, they were outraged and took the matter to the king himself. The king called for the servant. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have done the same for your fellow servant? With that, the king commanded that he be thrown into jail and tortured until he could pay off every last penny. Okay, let's all say the big idea together one last time. Make it a habit to be forgiving. Now let's all stand and sing one last song together. Jumping, jumping up and down when you're spinning, spinning round and round. God's seeing everything you do, cause he's watching, watching over you. God is watching, watching over you, 24-7 watching over you. Your life is in his hands, whoa, whoa. He's got great big plans, cause he's watching over you. information about Kids Church or our programs, please visit us at www.phoenixchurchofchrist.org or email us at info at phoenixcoc.org. See you next week.